What's up YouTube? In today's video we'll be taking a look at, well this laptop is a familiar site from a previous video but that's not why I'm making this video. So there's this mirroring app for Android and iOS called Space Desk that is compatible with Windows. One thought, and I noticed it that it does response to touch and one thought that occurred to me was, does it work with the Galaxy S Pen for Samsung devices? So that's what we'll be taking a look at in today's video, just using this laptop once again, but to demonstrate that. So it's called Space Desk, you install it on Windows, I do have it installed. There's the Space Desk driver console, which just shows updates and some other options. In a minute, we'll be connecting the phone to the Space Desk driver on this machine, and then that's where I'll demonstrate using the Galaxy S Pen, like you can repurpose these old Galaxy phones as a drawing tablet of sorts. If you don't have one and you desperately need a drawing tablet but don't have the money for one, this but you have an old Galaxy Note or Ultra lying around, it could be a way to have a drawing tablet. Okay, I'll probably have to cut out the last bit where I opened the console the first time because I realized it was displaying my public IPv6 address and I don't need that in a video. So anyways, this is what it looks like. You got your network adapter options. There is a USB cable driver options, but I have never tested that. So for now, we'll be going with wireless in this video. So to get on with it, we will get to the phone and connect it to the laptop. Okay, so I'm here with the phone and we will open the Space Desk Driver app wherever it is. And there's our, there's our laptop right there. Now this IP I'm not concerned about because it's a local network's address. And I have it set up where it's at the, uses the full aspect ratio on the device. You have to use extended display because if you don't in your mirroring, then that's going to be the wrong aspect ratio for the phone, so you won't be getting its full screen real estate. So for the sake of testing, we will be using MS Paint, because that's the only drawing application I have. Okay, it opened on the laptop, just a second. Okay, so after redragging the window, here we go, we got MS Paint open, and I will simply just... Okay, I gotta use my left hand. My right hand takes up too much space on camera. I am not left-handed, so I am gonna absolutely suck at this. Simply just right test. If you go too fast, there will be a noticeable delay, but it's actually fast enough that... I mean, like, the delay is not too bad that if you're drawing not too fast, you can actually... can actually draw pretty good. Although, I can't get my right hand in here, or else it blocks too much of the camera. Although, it actually is pretty good. I'm no professional drawer, so I can't exactly test is on video and I don't really know anyone who is a professional drawer to actually draw something professional looking for me over space desk so there's this is about as far as I can demonstrate with my own drawing abilities I still have the same drawing abilities as I did in like kindergarten like my <laughs> drawing skills haven't really improved at all even though I'd love to improve them I just can't so pretty much it for the demonstration of using an S Pen on Space Desk. And yeah, this is actually an excellent way to repurpose your old Galaxy Note or Ultra phones is to use the phone with the S Pen to, as a drawing tablet if you don't have one already and you desperately need one right away or you just don't have one to want to spend the money on one but you have one of these phones lying around you can just go ahead and draw like this phone I just have lying around I haven't used it since I got my pixel last year so yeah I don't really use this phone I only use it for experiments nowadays such as this video so yeah that's about it for repurposing your old galaxy notes or ultra as your drawing tablet over windows with 
an S Pen. Okay, that said something about low bandwidth. I can still draw just fine though. But yeah, if you go too fast, you can see the delay. But if you're, as I said, if you draw it slow enough, then it's actually pretty good. So yeah, this is just a quick video on how you can repurpose these old devices as a drawing tablet. You can probably do this with an iPad too, but I don't have an Apple Pencil, so I can't test that with my iPad, so I'm out of luck there. But yeah, that's it. You want to repurpose these old phones? Go ahead and use Space Desk with a Windows PC. And yeah, I looked, there's no Space Desk for Linux, and I'm not sure if there's any for Mac. But yeah, that's about it, and this will be the end of this quick video, so be sure to like and subscribe, and leave your a comment with your thoughts in the comments and yeah that's it see you guys in the next video